Hi everybody, my name is Heather and today is the final day of week four of the Tone It Up eight week nutrition program. Woo! Whoa, we're halfway there. We're halfway done and I feel like I've made so much progress and I wanna share my progress with you guys um, because this was one of my New Year's resolutions was to get back on track with eating healthy and working out and this was going to be the way that I did it. Um, last time they came out with an eight week program, it was the eight week bikini series and I only got through like half of week three before my motivation kind of sputtered out and I just stopped doing it. So I'm really proud of myself that I've gotten through four weeks of this and oh, it's amazing. So. Like I said, here it is. Ooh, it's so pretty. I'm gonna start with how much weight I've lost and the inches I have lost because there have been losses, which in this case is a very good thing. So I started out the program at 126.8 pounds and as of right now I am 121.8 pounds. So I have lost five pounds in four weeks, which I think is pretty amazing considering you get to eat five meals a day and some of those meals are pancakes. They have you measure your neck, which I didn't really think I'd lose anything off of my neck, but I started out at 12.5 inches and now I'm at 12 inches, so I guess I lost a half inch off of my neck and off of my arms. I started out at 11 inches and I am now at 10.25, so oh yeah. They consider the torso the waist, at least according to this. So my natural waist, aka torso, I started out at 28.5 pounds and I am now at 26 pounds. What? Inches. You know what I mean. 28.5 inches and I am now at 26 inches on my natural waist. So I'm super happy about that. Um, from my lower waist, which I guess is like where you would consider the belly, um, I was at 32 inches and I am now at 29 inches. Um, moving on to my hips, I started out at 37 inches and I am now at 36.25. So that is three quarters of an inch, which is doesn't sound like a lot, but I feel like a lot of it has been fat and then I've been doing so many booty exercises that I mean, nothing much looks like it's changed, which is fine. I like my butt the way it is. From my thighs, I started out at 22 inches and I am now at, where is it? 21 and a half. So I've lost, lost a half inch off of my thighs, which again, I've done a ton of leg workouts. So um, I'm sure I've built up a lot of muscle, but also from my body, my thighs are the last places to lose weight, which is frustrating. But you know what? We all have our crosses to bear. And finally, um, calves, I measured my calves when we started and it was 14 inches. I didn't really think I'd lose anything off of my calves, but I ended up losing three quarters of an inch. So I am now at 13.25 inches. I feel like I've gained muscle. I feel more toned and tight and I feel so much stronger and a lot of the workouts that we've had to do um, in the very beginning, so week one, a lot of them were really, really hard for me and at this point I'm doing them and they're still challenging enough to feel like they are making a difference, but I'm not like grunting and dying through each thing. One of the other things I'm really proud of myself about is the fact that every single day of the four weeks, I've taken the Perfect Fit Vitamin. Now, I am not typically a multivitamin person. Um, I, I just can never remember to take something every day. But the really cool thing about this little eight week journal um, is there's a little checkbox for if you took your vitamin and I love checking things off. So I have been taking the vitamin every single day. So yay for me. Another really good thing that I've been doing is packing my lunches because I mean, I, where I work, it's not like there are vending machines or anything, but there's a Dunkin' Donuts pretty close by. Um, there are a couple, you know, little places where I could go and grab a less than healthy lunch um, if I am hungry, which, you know, I could find a healthy option, but if I'm gonna go into a Dunkin' Donuts, I mean, I'd be tempted and I don't like being tempted because willpower is a muscle and the more you have to work it in a short amount of time, the less, you will be able to resist things. So here's where I've kind of been changing things. Where I kind of failed um, last year when there was an eight week challenge, I am flourishing this year. 
And this is how I'm doing that. So last year I was being really strict on myself and I was really trying to do exactly every single meal of every single day that it told me to do. It was kind of a burden on my budget and on the produce that was already in the house. A lot of the stuff was going bad and I was spending way more money on food than I would have if I kind of changed some things around like I'm doing this year. So, for example, if I don't have an avocado for avocado toast in the morning, I will flip ahead to the next breakfast and be like, oh, but I do have yogurt and nuts and fruit to put in it, um, so I'll have that today. And when my avocado is here, or maybe it's not ripe, um, when it is ripe, I'll be able to do the avocado toast. So I'm kind of flip-flopping things and it's been working really well. The other thing that I've kind of had to change is I can't work out every day. I mean, I physically could, but I have a life. We all have lives and I'm not the kind of person that is super motivated to wake up early in the morning and do it before work because I don't always like to shower first thing in the morning. Sometimes I like to shower when I get home. So it's really hard for me to, if I have to work in the morning, it's hard to work out before then because then I have to basically set aside an extra hour to get ready for work, um, even though the workout's only like 20 minutes. Or I go to work smelling like a dog, which that's never good. So I have kind of let go of the fact that I have to do every single daily workout. Um, I'm sure if I did, I'd see more results, but I kind of have to let that go. So I am definitely working out on the days I have off work and on the days that I don't have to go into work as early in the morning. There's also a little checklist checkbox for how many cups of water to drink and that is something that's definitely been challenging for me. I am not really a big water drinker. It's one of my least healthy habits, the fact that I barely drink any water every day, um, but I'm actively trying to change that. So during week four, I drink so much water and it's because when I was looking back at week three, I realized I only had six cups of water the entire week. That is less water than you should be drinking in one day and I had it that's it that's all I had in one week so for week four my goal was to totally drink way more water and I have there was actually one day that I had all eight cups which might not seem like a big deal to some of you but <laughs> holds a lot of water for this girl so that's something I'm actively working on meal planning and meal prepping so these are really important things and we all know this, but sometimes it's really hard to do it on our own. So what I'm really, really loving about this meal plan is that everything is decided for you. And even if I do have to change it, like I mentioned earlier, I usually just kind of pick meals that are maybe later in the week and I have them earlier. And what I do is I actually have an extra little notebook that I will write down a meal plan that has been slightly adjusted so that I have something in front of me that I will actually follow to the letter because I like seeing something and following it to the letter and since I can't always do that with the uh, original meal plan I like to take the time and change it at the beginning of the week. The other thing is when you're doing that make your grocery list so I always know you should do grocery shopping about once a week and have your meal plan so that you know what to shop for never shop hungry always bring a list so that's been really helpful for the past four weeks you're in you're out you're not going into the candy aisle speaking of the candy aisle though um, there was a weekend actually I think it was last weekend it was when we were snowed in some part of being snowed in, I don't know, it made me want to order pizza and get junk food and go totally crazy. However, um, I did not order pizza. I haven't ordered pizza at all, which is a really big thing. But there was one day where I just had hot cocoa, like for every single meal, and it was not healthy, and I had nothing nutritious that day. But you know what? It was okay, because the next day was Sunday, and I jumped right back into it and I actually filmed my what I eat in a day video that day so I made sure like okay I'm filming my what I eat in a day I'm gonna be really really good so it's okay if you slip up I feel like last year when I did this when I slipped up I was like well I guess the eight weeks are blown <laughs> I totally ruined it which is such a dumb way of thinking um, there's a quote from Jillian Michaels when your car tire pops do you get out of the car and slash the other three no, you don't. You change the tire and you keep moving. Here's another kind of analogy. When you drop your phone, do you 
then pick it up and like throw it against the wall and break it and do all these crazy things. No, you pick it up, you're like, oh my God, is it cracked? No, it's not cracked, and then you move on. Same thing with your eating. If you have a pizza one day, you shouldn't just be like, well, I guess I'm just gonna have pizza every day for the rest of my life because I had pizza this one time and I wasn't supposed to. Anyway, I'm sure you guys have heard all that before, but these are things that I have to like run through my head sometimes and it helps me a lot. If you're interested in following my journey more on a daily basis, I do check in into the Tone It Up community on Twitter and my Twitter handle is at Heather Warren underscore, the H and W are capitalized. And I'm also, po I'm also, also, what's that? <laughs> also posting on my Instagram, which is at Heather Forever Warren. So I'm posting a lot of the meals that I'm eating. And then on my Twitter, I post just the, like, oh, I did this workout and it was so great. And blah, blah, blah. If any of you are also doing this challenge, please let me know because I don't know anyone personally who's doing it. And I want to share everything with you guys. So yeah. Um, that's it for this video. Uh, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more. I will be filming a total eight week wrap up video in a month when everything is done. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Baby, break a sweat, break a sweat, baby, break a sweat. Okay, I'm done. I'm so weird. <laughs>